So today we have a special report and it's going to be about DocuSign. The stock is DOCU. I took a trade on Friday and I thought I really missed the trade. I was a bit slow maybe, but there's some information that came out and said otherwise. So in this video, I'll be breaking down something that's quite interesting and it's been happening more and more. So as usual, before getting into the video, this is not financial advice. This is just my personal opinion. And also, if you're looking for the best tool to trade and invest, everything will be linked down below. So don't forget to check that out. Let's jump right in. So last Friday, I took a trade and it was on DOCU, as I mentioned. And you can see over here, I was a bit late. I wish I would have been able to get in that middle of that candle. And I also really butchered the execution just overall. Like it was a bad trade and I was frustrated, but somebody sent me something over the weekend and let's take a look at it. So we have over here how this is allowed. Today, Doku, DocuSign received 11K in new volume on out of money option 57 calls expiring today at 10 to 10.30 a.m. So this is the biggest part. So the volume over here, 57 calls, I mean, it can happen, somebody can take a bet, but the expiring today and somebody buying these like random calls at 10 to 10.30 a.m., this is wild to be honest because it's such a big gamble and it's a pretty big amount. We can see over here, it was 30K and it turned out to be a million profit. So you're telling me that this person just took a random gamble and had no clue that this news was gonna come out. I mean, it seems a little fishy to me. So we had Doku over here, let's bring it to the intraday. And even if you look at the daily chart, like there's no reason really to buy like such a like a large amount of these 57. Uh, it was out of the money when he bought them. So if we bring it to 1030, so something like right over here, decided to buy the 57. Like why would he buy that option out of the money on this random day? And all of a sudden, this news just comes out right over here and, you know, turned out to be a pretty good trade for that guy. So we've been seeing this over and over again, and it seems to be getting worse and worse. And a good example of that was also CERE. So we can see from this chart, right, it started to have like this random breakout on absolutely no news right over here, right? You're looking at the stock, you're saying, what's going on? You know, what's happening? Why is this running so much? And it starts to get on everyone's filter. And all of a sudden, a couple days later, this news comes out, you know, that they're getting an offer to be bought at $45 a share. So, you know, sometimes it happens within the day. And it's also important to acknowledge that there's always someone that's going to know about the information. And this is true when it comes to earning. This is true when it comes to news. So this is why you have to be careful that, you know, when you're trading news, is this an exit or it's really because something is happening? So in terms of information and how we can take advantage of this to make money, I think a good example, like unusual, well posted over here is looking at this really weird option volume is always a good indicator of some news is coming because when these people are taking these trade, it always happened with the option just because if it's true, the reward is going to be so much greater than if you're just buying the stock. Because if you're trying to build a position of 30K and turn it into a million with the stock, the stock would have to make such a big move. So tracking the option going forward, I'm probably not going to use your software, but just any kind of software like Interactive Broker has a pretty good um, software when it comes to option and finding unusual option volume. Just tracking, you know, what's really going on in that case, because it can prepare you for some good RPG or have some special alerts. For example, what I would consider is putting an option volume or unusual option scanner. And after that, I would look for, you know, putting this stock in a special watch list with some keyword on a news filter. This is what I would do and I think it would be the best way to do it. There's always the other way that I do not recommend and it's to try to get inside information, but I like to live life. I don't feel like going to jail, so I'll just try to be as fast as possible when the news comes out. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you do, like and subscribe. And as usual, thanks for watching. Peace.